and take you to Bonchari, Kisi County, where the counting exercise for that parliamentary by-election is underway, with the constituency returning officer expected to tabulate the final tally and declare a winner. Now, all this coming after a day-long exercise where a, a low voter turnout was witnessed with heavy security presence dotting roads leading to the polling centers and the constituency as a whole. When the doors opened at 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning, long queues were visible at polling centers in Bonchari constituency with locals rushing to cast their vote before proceeding to attend to their daily obligations. <laughs> Tumepika kura kwa amani, atutaki furugu ya yote. Pia tunashukuru mafisa wetu wa polisi ambao wako hapa. Tunana njia mambo inanda sambamba. But as the day progressed, queues got shorter with fewer people turning up for the exercise. <laughs> A brief scaffold witnessed at Nyamiobo Primary School polling center of allegations of voter bribery. Nyanza Regional Commander Karanja Mwirori confirmed suspects had been arrested on similar grounds. He, however, declined to give a definite number. <laughs> na pesa tuko nazo na wale suspects walipatiwa pesa jana na hata leo so already any time watakuwa wamepelekwa kotini by leo Bonchari has a total of 52,955 registered voters spread across 103 polling stations. 13 candidates are on the ballot seeking a bid to represent the constituency following the death of Oro Oyoka in February. Well, let's cross over there right now to speak to our Laura Otieno who's got the latest updates. Laura, I want to hear two things. One, what's the latest numbers from the IEBC? But also talk to us about allegations by some political parties there of heavy-handed behavior by the police. All right, if you can hear me, what's the latest? Total number of rejection objected to ballot papers, zero, zero. Laura, can you hear me if you can? Please update us the latest in terms of the numbers from the IBC. Okay, it, it seems we have a... Okay, do we have her now? Indeed, uh, we are here at the Soneka City of Hall, which is the constituency telling center in the Bonchari by-election. And right now, the results are streaming in. We have uh, four polling stations so far reporting out of 103. And so far, Oro Teresia Betruto, who was buying on a UDA ticket, has 305 votes, representing 36% of the total votes cast, uh, which are 844 votes. Uh, we are looking at uh, Oporo, Zebra, Bedeo John uh, taking a second position so far with 253 votes, representing 30% of the votes cast so far. And Oimeke Robert Pavel, which uh, is the ODM candidate, uh, having garnered 208 votes so far, representing 25% of the total votes cast. So uh, we have been uh, looking around through the entire constituency the entire day. We had seen low voter turnouts, but then uh, there were longer queues in the morning. But then as the day progressed, we were seeing fewer and fewer people walking walking into the polling station. And of course, we also had a chat with the regional uh, police commander, uh, that is Mr. Moiruri, who gave us a brief. And uh, here is a story that uh, summarizes what we had gathered in the course of the day. OK. A lot of our viewers have actually just seen that story. Uh um, and I think we're just going to have to leave it there. But the latest that we've gotten from Laura there is that results from four polling stations are in. Uh, still very early days, I must say, but the UDA candidate in the lead, 36% of votes uh, counted so far. The Jubilee candidate, 30%. And the ODM candidate, 25%. But remember, this is from only four polling stations. And we'll keep updating you as and when we have fresh numbers.